If you could read my mind, love. Hey, it's you. We're glad to see you. Come on in. We have a Dune inspired soap today from Barrister and Man. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet! I'm so glad you're here! Yes, Come on you. in! And if you're here during the live premiere on Wednesday or Saturday mornings, join the chat! Mm-hmm. Say hi! There's lovely us. folks from all over the world who'd love to meet you. And for our mention today, this is our buddy Carlos. Yes. Shave on, gents. Mm-hmm. And he sent us a lovely care package from Topher's Soap Company, a mm-hmm. local artisan in for Canada. Carlos in yeah. Canada. And you Y'all, after the jury has come back in on this, <laughs> this has become my favorite aftershave product for shaving. This is the bomb. And you just put a tiny bit on your palm, rub it in your hands, it'll seem to disappear, and then it goes right on your face. And that little barrier that you just need to feel between the outside world and that freshly shaven face of yours, that is supplied in spades by this. And it's such a beautiful feel. It's just a tiny bit protective. It's a tiny bit moisturizing. It's just a little hard to explain. And but I've stole it myself. If yep. I have a nick or I've gotten a little razor burn some, I wasn't paying attention, I will grab this. And I actually just ordered the women's one because they have one for them too. Yeah, and this is about a six month supply, y'all. Yeah, you'll this be good for a while. Thing. So this is called the Manscaped Butter from Topher Soap Company. Mm-hmm. And the lady version has a similar Fun name. name. Uh, so go check that <laughs> yeah. out. And what is our soap today? We did our homework for this soap today, actually, because we had not seen Dune. So yep. we had to watch it. And this. I don't know if we've ever done more homework for soap because this was a two and a half hour it movie. It was a serious... A and it was part one! <laughs> it was! Well, what do you got us into? Now we here? need so, part two. I know. So now you kind of left us hanging about half an hour ago. We're like, uh, uh, Wait, oh. Wait, now what? Oh, right. Yeah. But I think we have a really good sense now of the inspiration behind exactly. this soap. And maybe even this angry little guy on the cover. Let's meet the soap. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is from the sales page at Barrister and Man. Arrakis. Dune, the only source of the most valuable substance in the known universe. The one that has the power to make or break an empire. The Spice. The fundamental force underlying Frank Herbert's famously influential and notoriously complex work, Dune, the Spice Melange, often known simply as the Spice, is a powerful psychoactive that makes space travel within the story possible. Without it, the mutated navigators of the Spacing Guild cannot predict the flight paths of interstellar starships, and flying blind in such a fashion is a good way to materialize from warp space inside the heart of a star. There might be spoilers in here, yeah, Will. Are you kidding? We, we just finished part one, so I don't know if I was supposed to know that. <laughs> in case you couldn't tell, we're huge fans of Dune at Barrister and Man. So, in honor of both one of our favorite novels of all time and its recent cinematic adaptation, we wanted to create something that was truly special. Thus was born Melange, our interpretation of the scent of the spice itself. Wow. What a great idea. Now, this... This hits in my Willy Wonka idea of like, there is yeah. just stuff that we want to know how it smells. True. And yeah. boy, tell me when you were watching that mm-hmm. scene where All you first saw that beautiful stuff. ambery golden spice in mm-hmm. the air that you weren't like, what does mm. that smell like? You know? Right? Brilliant. And I think, does this then go into, oh, it does. This then jives right. into set notes. We're going to have so to So we, we have not looked at set notes yet. Nope, we don't want to nope. know. But whoa, I Love it when soap makers recreate famous right. smells that we have no idea what they are. Even like Zuzu's petals from It's a Wonderful Life. Somebody oh, had that yeah. one. Just little things, Just little sparks of inspiration like know? that to help bring back smell vision And now we can watch part two we while we can. smell melange. Oh, see. Yeah, see. Some mm-hmm. say hey, it might have been worth it after yeah, all for this right? giant three hour trek into this movie. <laughs> all right, y'all, let's it's have an unboxing. It. We got this from the Razor Company. It's oh, been waiting. Ooh, and it's been a- waiting. Let's see if we've got a... 
We We've got, got a crystal, crystal dome, y'all! Yeah. We're enjoying watching the Barbershop Duet on the Jumbotron at the new location yeah. of Crystal. Hey, thanks, y'all! Oh, this we made is it on awesome. the TV! Oh, okay. y'all, y'all, look at this label. Now if that you we've are seen Doom it. fans, this mm -hmm. image is more than just an obscene popcorn bucket, y'all. Right? This is amazing. But there look is that actual shot from the I movie. And I, we didn't realize till the very last shot, not to give anything away, but that's the very last shot that they're riding those worms, y'all. Mm -hmm. They're riding them through the desert. desert are you? Power. Kidding right. Oh, I'm <laughs> so excited to know. Oh, and it's it's like light up. Yeah, it does. That's it's what like, I was tipping. Oh. Like how the spice has that reflective stuff. I need to know what the spice in Dune smells like. Let's have a first impression. <laughs> Okay, so I think you should go first, so in case mm -hmm. you start hallucinating, <laughs> I, I can be your ground control. If I run right? away to a... Yeah. Okay, seriously. If you see visions of your death or your murder or anything like that, Maybe let me know when you smell wrong. the spice. Okay. All, who, who knows what might happen here, y'all? Wow, look at it. And you can see the moon. I know, I know. Let's Detail. See I see it. I see it. Ooh, all right, okay. here we go. Take in this melange. It's been a while since we had a barrister in my No, a little bit too long. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there's the infamous pour here. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Beautiful. I wonder if it'll have Will's famous mystique in this barrister and man scent profile. Ooh, for me. What do you it get? It does you get? have a fun, like, different type of spice. Yeah. It's not something that you just immediately are like, oh, yeah, I know that spice, which is perfect for the movie. I get it. Love it. Can you pick out any scent notes, or is it more just like a vibe? Ah, uh, you know, it's, it's a vibe, but there are scents in there that are uh, spices. Love it. Almost could like teeter on an incense and then it gets kind of sweeter like maybe a ginger uh cinnamony like the darker spices but it's not a dark scent like it's oh. it's light like when you're the, oh. all the sun in the movie and the sand like right. it's a lighter vibe Ooh, so not like your incenses and cinnamon it's more like your lighter no. senses, huh? and there's something that's a different spice oh. in there Ooh. that i don't i don't think i know as well I feel like I've smelt it before. I kind of wonder if there's like a saffron in here because that is such a beautiful spice here, right? And so covered. I don't know. I mean, maybe. It, but it is something different like that. It's something that we don't always Ooh. use. Now, my big question. Is it on the sweeter side? Is it on the drier side? Uh, no, it's actually at least off the puck. It's right. a, it has something a little prettier and sweeter about it. Oh. Like, you know, when you see it sparkle in the movie, like there is something right. enticing about it. There is something that you like. You want to gravitate towards it. And I get that from the Scent here. Right, okay, set intensity one through five. Oh. Where we where we sit here? How how pungent is this? I, I would say it's about three. It's it's a solid scent. It's Love new. Love it. Right. It's in the not middle. like dark. It's not light. It's like right in there, and it's nice and potent actually. Now that barrister and man mystique that you find in mere woods and hollows. Ooh, you and, know. Is it in the soap? I don't notice it as much here. Oh, okay. So it, I, don't, either, I don't find it in Adagio. There are some where yeah, I, don't I don't find it as much, right? I gotta agree. I don't really... It's not something that I notice here, and I thought I would. But it, it it's a wonderful scent. And I really thought it was going to be closer to the other one that we have that's right. more inspired with the sand stuff. Right. Midnight but, Special. Yes. Yes. But it's its own thing. Now, does it remind you of Dune? Is it reminiscent of that spice? Ah. I think... It helps that we've seen the movie, ah. that I can see why it is a specific, special type of spice. Love it. Two and a half hours, well spent, Will. Okay, here <laughs> right. we go. But And it's interesting because in the movie, it's not a spice that they're ever ingesting eating. Right. It's, you know, no, it's, it's something he breathes in. Right. right? And so, sort of accidentally, right? Right. So, uh, I think that helps this. Because it does oh. not have that gourmandy, you want to eat it vibe as oh. much as I thought it would. Gotcha. Cologne Town? Nope. This is going to be it's interesting, y'all. I'm guessing this is going to be a typical barrister and man and <laughs> that there's nothing typical about it. No. You know what I mean? All right, here you go. Uh, it may change once we lather, you know, how things go. But just see what you get. Okay, take me to Spice you, Town. Yeah, if you're I'm, in, I'm ready to go. If you're in Arrakis now. Oh, <laughs> wow. That didn't take long. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. It's so funny. I want to re-ask you the questions you ask me now. Right. You're like, would you say the same answer? Because I think oh, you would. Clean and spicy. Built for me around a citrus and a spice that are yeah. locked together. So I'm thinking like a smoke and a very special one. Yeah. Almost like a citrusy, like a smoky orange peel. Right. Kind of Something mixed different. with like an allspice kind of thing in the middle of this. Mm -hmm. Just to greet you. But you know... Ooh, you know how citrus has kind of a soury note that tickles your nose? This doesn't have the sour note, 
But somehow it still tickles your nose. The citrus in this. Mm-hmm. But it's like an inside oh. out citrus. It's not a normal one. No, and or it's, it's like not, an orange blossom. It is it's not, not a, a grapefruit. It is not any of your bitter citruses. There is mm-hmm. nothing bitter to this. So right. get that And I head. almost got like a pretty sweet floral in there somewhere. Yes. And a, bra- a, a beautiful, somehow sweet and yet bracing citrus in the middle. That's that's connected with a spice, even mm. just a little hint of a cinnamon, a little hint of an allspice, something along right. those it's lines. It's a combo of spices for sure. But then there's a different spice that I don't know as well. Wow, it's but almost a greener herb or yes, something. Yes, yes, and you're right. This is on the lighter side. I thought this would go into the incenses, into the cinnamons, into the dark places, right? The ouds, maybe. Get that out of your head. This stays bright. In fact. This doesn't go any darker than the golds and the yeah. yellows and the mm-hmm. whites of the sand. They itself. may be in there, but they're not pulling the scent heavier. It's not making it a darker right. scent. And you're right. A little a little smidgen of the Barrister Man Mystique. But the Mystique in this one is connecting with one of the scent notes. Right. It, in it a disappears. Way, I don't even right, know it's there. In a way that I have not experienced before in the B&M. Mm-hmm. So, Wow. Wow. And just, I, I can smell the sun on the right? desert Right? I know. Sand. That's what I mean. It's like, it's a bright sunny day. We're not in the shadows. Doing and it's that. interesting because even like, um you know, you have the good and the evil type of vibe in this movie. True. And this is really connected to that light good And it's side. kind of hard for me to figure out at the beginning, like who the yeah. good guys are, who the bad guys are. Maybe I'm so used to movies having ginormous twists in them, but I'm watching this like with wait, my guard up on. going like, wait, wait, wait who's yeah. the good guy? Who's the bad guy? Who got brought here who for what reason? And, and why did he agree to give them back? all the spice and then mm-hmm. who's the real bad guy working the strings and I'm with you there's a lot going on here and, and, and you don't have a, a novel uh, you know the author to yeah sort we of didn't help do that along. Along. <laughs> it's 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 a ride it's a ride we you were know, joking that tight. we needed the spark notes because we're like hold on we need to make sure we're on the right storyline here but there might even be answers in the soap in there fact really i'm thinking be. there might even be answers in the lather yes, y'all would you done. like to introduce this guest that this is, is our, uh, uh, my barrister and man bowl and i got it way way back in the beginning because i really wanted one that i could set my brush on the side right. while i'm taking turn on one leg and go to the other so this it's, is my first it's one. funny what drives you nuts in the shaving hobby like <laughs> the little razor blade wrappers they drive me nuts i had to go a little garbage can just for the shave it's marker true. It's true. so that my lazy butt didn't have to walk <laughs> six feet over to the normal bathroom messes one, right? up the flow man and it was so funny Funny with her, she was like, "Sure, I'm lathering, but where does one put their brush?" Like that really bugged her, and immediately uh, out of the box came Barrister and Man to save her. Like you know what? And We're gonna try. Set it, it right here. And the, the bright color fit this movie well, so you know. The soap came out like a little worm. It totally did. It was really cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's put that in there. Speaking of worms, and here. we like to really smush our soap into the bottom of the bowl, so the brush has to do a little dance to this get it out. It does have a little bit of a softer side to this soap. I gotta say. What? It, wow. There is something on just the, the dustier side of this. Because I don't know if you've ever spent time in the desert, but it spends a lot of time on you. Look at those videos of people coming back from Burning Man. It looks like they've been rolled in powdered sugar, right? It's true. So there's something about this that's that's clean but not. And then there's even that line in it about how if you want to shower in the desert, you rub sand on your butt. Right. You just... Ah, that, right. There is something clean yet dirty, dusty about this. Yeah. Oh, and of course it does, and it's beautiful. Oh, oh. You want moisture? I feel like you should have to spit in this to, oh, make, yeah. to make the moisture. <laughs> right? that what was were it. you going to give to, right. I need my fancy suit. At the beginning of the movie, somebody spits on him, and they're like, hey, how dare you? And they're like, no, 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 that's his gift of moisture. Like, Hold on, this is the him. desert. That's a giant tribute. It's like, oh, okay. Oh. This is our moon soap brush that Sarah chose, made mine. by Zachary Kent mm-hmm. and Moon Soaps. It's an amazing thing. It is, thing, and I, I had to pick it because it had the purple. They were the guests on Shave Migo Show last night. We had a great they time were. watching. They were. And fun. we want a gift card yeah. to Carve. Yeah. Y'all, That's I would so normally crazy. have piffed it to DJ in a heartbeat, except twice a day I have been checking the Carve website True. to see when the new Bison Razor was going to drop in the new Glacier color. Y'all, it's ombre. It starts blue on right. one end and it mm-hmm. ends silver on the other. show them the cover of the soap because Ooh, it's super close right, to those colors. It kind of does that. It kind of starts does really blue and it ends really silver. Head over to Carve and see what they've got going on over there. I'm, I'm going to need a reboot. Oh, you sure here. are. It's a little cobweb in here. Well, it's a desert soap. <laughs> it's yeah, going right? to need a lot of water. Right? That spice is going to need some love here. I love it because most movies have a song that the movie inspires that's True. usually played over the credits. They, this one has a smell. It does. We can see what this movie is made like. We were actually commenting on the music in the movie, how yeah, it really beautiful. like helps you know where you are yeah, in the movie. Yeah, with the bad guys in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get the last bit out of the groovies down here. 
For me, y'all, not a fluffy lather, a thick, a beautiful, yeah. thick, utilitarian mm -hmm. lather. It scares my razor blades a little bit. Ooh, I feel like it just got more in character. I'm excited to see what it's going to smell like with water, because one of my favorite smells on vacation was the desert sand of the Salt Sea in California. When you'd wake up in the morning, and the morning dew would still be in the sand, and you got this sort of almost wet kitty litter, beautiful, rocky smell to your morning. Okay, I think you should do our comparative uh, Oh, here. ladies and gentlemen, you will only find a this. Cinematic in the whiff, I don't this, know. This Cinematic whiff. Here we go on three, one, two. Oh, see, things changed. It got brighter. Oh, it got more alive. Wow, they just blend so much more beautifully when you lather, y'all. It's almost as if that's what was intended to happen. Okay, take a whiff. Just oh. dive in a little deeper because, yeah, things happen. Wow, look at this yogurt you got going on. Now, we never comment on lather. No, here, but it's a, it's, that, it's a gorgeous thing. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, thick, happy leather. What is that spice in the middle? I can't tell if it's the combo of things or if it's something that we know, but it's like got something under and above it that we don't know. Y'all, if this was a it. real spice, I would love this. Right? I would use this all the time. What is that? I, I know, but it fits the movie so much more. Right. Like now that you smell it, it's I'm like, dry, yeah, I'm But it's I'm sweet, in. it's dark, it's spicy, but it's got light notes to it. Y'all, I gotta How see a list of how this was done. Can I please see the script, supervisor? <laughs> Thus was born Melange, our interpretation of the scent of the spice itself. Notes okay. of cinnamon. Now see, love it, because it's tricky. Mm -hmm. I can spot cinnamon a mile yeah. off like a worm crawling across the desert, it's but it's twisted. hard for it's me different. to find it. And here it is. This is what I was sensing in the middle. Okay. Nutmeg. Okay. Ginger. Yeah. Just a touch. Um, Cardamom. I get mm. that now. Bay. This was the one. Bay. Yay! I knew it was something we knew, Gorgeous. but different. And you then know? Musk. Mm hmm. Oh, and this is a great. I love this. I love this. And a desert air blend to you produce know. an instantly spicy, all encompassing aroma that brings to mind remote deserts, underground cultures, and the rumblings of revolution. Oh, that's I love that that's sure. the set note. It that's is. the set note. It's just dry desert air. Figure it out, right? Figure it out. I mean, it's here. It. I don't know oh, how, but it's so here. There. Right. But I need a map with X marks to spot. What am I supposed right. to do with that? Because absolutely nailed it. Completely. Absolutely nailed it. And I, I mean, spent yeah, time in the that. desert. I spent a week out in the desert once, which was After a reading day or that, two just too many. Take a whip and now like the desert air is so there. Right. And you're right. There is there was there a floral listed here? No, but I think it's in the desert air thing because I bet you there's a tiny floral. Something is on the sweeter, prettier, aerated right. kind of side, you know? Like something in the desert air part. Right. But it it's does it really does use the spice to make it beautiful. Like, yep. that's what I love. And how they keep it brighter. Because yeah. these are some dark spices on this list, yo. But they have kept these all mm -hmm. above the equator. This is more yeah. of a sunrise than a sunset. It is. And, and it's interesting because the cardamom and the bay really do fun things. And with yeah. the nutmeg. Like, those three all right. yeah. are really what's dancing in the middle. I wouldn't face. expect that. Part of the spice going along with these actual spices is that bay. And yeah. it's incredible. And because think of bay, think of it joining with cardamom. Think mm -hmm. of bay with ginger. Think of bay with nutmeg. Think of bay with musk. But even just thinking of bay with nu it not being a bay rum. Right. There's something on this side that's right. different. And you know, there is just something darkly comical about Will's bay rum being an inspired by the desert itself. <laughs> I mean, usually the bay rum is about pirates and sea life. Yeah, but no. here, this planet doesn't even different have bay. an ocean, y'all. They don't mm -hmm. even know what an ocean is. They don't nope. have beach towels. Nope. So it's that. I love that. It's just like it's come to mind. New way. Has decided um, to put bay into a desert set and yet it works so well. I can't get over it. Because so without it, it wouldn't smell as dry. No, and me. I gotta say, if there was like a multiple choice, if I had to pick like from a certain spices, right. I don't know if I would have jumped on that one first. Nope. It's twisted in there so well. Like, having read it, I'm like, oh, completely. Duh. Completely yeah. duh. It's there. But I would not have picked it because it's just so, so beautifully true. masked and disguised, much like they are in the story. Right? Everything's wow. covered. They gotta stay covered in the sun. I'm, I'm glad we watched that movie, otherwise I, I this review would not have been anywhere near as smart. <laughs> so, you know, they only surface when they're about to attack. Why don't we find some of these worms where they live and go deeper? Did you see the popcorn bucket? That's all I'm gonna say. But. Did you see the popcorn bucket? I'd be scared to eat my popcorn. I mean, the, the Ghostbusters Ghost Trap popcorn bucket. 
There you go. <laughs> yeah, there but we go. The melange, freaky, warm popcorn bucket. Well, I don't, Google it, but I, I yeah. would not have eaten my popcorn out of that. Now I feel like we can go back and read what he had put on his Instagram. Like his Will had said, I put it all right up because of the new movie coming out. And now we probably can read it and understand what he's talking about. These barrister and mans, y'all. Okay, the best I can describe it, just kind of taking a step back now that we have, I think, eight barrister yeah, and man soaps in our collection. Maybe I need a new shelf. Every once in a while when I was growing up, my dad would, would open a really nice bottle of wine. He was the mm-hmm. president of a funeral home, and he had a little wine cooler like in, in the house where the really nice bottles were, right? And and we'd always have a glass at, at Thanksgiving or at Christmas. And when I would taste the normal Merlot, it was really nice, but every once in a while, he'd crack open one from the cooler, right? Mm. And there was just something about the complexity. There was something about the mellowness there was something about the time involved that yeah, you could right? somehow taste mm-hmm. in that wine. There was just something about, uh, for lack of a better word, the dignity mm-hmm. of that wine, that it had truly come into its fruition. Right. There is something about the way that Will crafts these barrister and man sense that, for me, had that same dignity, that same refinement, that same complexity, that same nose that only if you've been in the game for a while can you truly appreciate sure. everything that the time has brought that flavor. That's what I sense from Will Soaps. Mm-hmm. Because to recreate something like Dune, this this story is going to take a five hour movie in two parts just to <laughs> tell it. Like it's 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 not just going to be sandy rocks and little sunshine thrown in. No, no, it's going to be a deep, complex scent, which all of them are. So right. y'all, if you enjoy adventure in your shave mirror, if you like to take your time, if while you're building your lather, you like to discover these scents starting at the beginning and letting them carry you away like a story, mm-hmm. Barrister and Man's going to be one of your ponies because. The artisans I love best seem to know how to do that. And Will and his mom, yeah, wow, they have really done it. You can this. tell he spent hours reading the book and watching the movie and imagining what, right. you know, I, I mean, even just trying to imagine it. I don't know how I You would. can feel his love for the story yeah, in the soap. Yeah, it's here. Right? Like, that's what I love the best. This isn't something he casually liked. This is something he loves and he really dove right. into. And something fun, though. If I did not know the movie, right. if right. I had no idea ah. at all what this was connected to, and right. I smelled this first... I kind of would want to go watch and figure it ah, out. Totally. But you know? I, I love that. It's a great point. Even though we invested in watching the movie. We did. You don't have to. No, this, this will take you away. Mm-hmm. Like, all you need to see is what's on the cover. You got giant sandworms and they're coming to get you. Don't make too much noise. That's all you need to know, right? But even the scent alone, it, it's a standalone scent. Right. Oh, and then there's a magical spice that <laughs> oh, yeah. exists on top of the desert Which sands. Which is now and here. that's what they harvest. You can buy it in a tub. this yeah. smells like. It's a magical tub. spice. We've just had it. Will is right. Wow. Okay, so it's pretty simple. All you have to do is be born on an alien planet and have this magical, freaky ability to read minds and command people with your thoughts. And then you're going to go out into the desert. You're going to find out that something bad happened to your dad. But never mind. We'll it's deal fine. with that later. Uh, your mom is going to start to be a total badass out there on Kicks the sands. Them. And you're going to decide that you're going to start to wear the pants in the family. And when you do, and you start to consider what it might feel like to get on one of those sandworms and ride it across the desert, you just it's got your own! So head over to BarristerAndMan.com to find this and a bunch of other cool stuff. Well, I've had my shave with Melange. Y'all, I'm so glad we watched that movie first because this is exactly my imaginative vision of what that spice would have smelled like. Plus, they already have a soap called Spice, so they couldn't do that Y'all, how fun when Will takes something in his world that he loves so much, like the Dune movies or the world of Dune, and creates a sense so that we can enjoy his imagination along with him. This is why we do it, and this is one of my favorite scents of the whole year so far. Just for the imaginative slant it takes, and y'all, the shave itself. This is a special occasion lather, y'all. When I just want my face to be steeped in luxury, I use a barrister and man. It's just a phenomenal shave, and my razor just becomes puppy kisses when it's on my face. Thank you, Will. Welcome to Messages. Hey, y'all. So when Matt from Teton Shave sent us out this Zen brush for free, our minds were blown. But guess what, y'all? He also sent us out a code to give away any brush on his whole site to one lucky viewer of the barbershop duet for free. Yeah! 
Well, thank you. That is beyond generous. And y'all, all you have to do is be a subscriber here to the Barbershop Duet. Maybe go check out Teton Shaves mm-hmm. on TikTok and Instagram. And finally, send an email to we sent you at the barbershopduet.com and mention this giveaway so that you will be included in our drawing. Come back on May 1st to find out who our lucky winner is. Best of luck. I'm kind of glad the movie's in two parts because now we're going to have this to Ooh, smell right? for the second half. Yeah, I'm curious because we I feel like we just had the teaser. Now we got to know what yeah, happens next. We're and just kind of barely scratching the surface of the mm-hmm. story, I think. I think everything we saw is exposition. But now we kind of know crazy. what the gold is in the movie here. We can take a whiff while we're watching. And it is setting us up for a few mysteries. There are yeah. a few questions that this part asks that mm-hmm. I'm like, Ooh, where are yeah, they no going Yeah, no spoilers in the comments yet. We got to do our homework right. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the actors are doing an amazing job. Timothy really Chalamet are. is incredible and Momoa's in this, right? Mm-hmm. He's There's great. a lot. Everybody. Yeah, and they're really almost hidden a lot of the movie. Right. So you really have to get the story across in different ways as an actor, which I think is kind of different and watching that, I you know? I love the strength of the female characters yeah, in this, as Will mentioned in his spoiler-free mm-hmm. review, right? Yeah. So anyway, what a fun experience. This whole yeah, I'm glad great. we watched the movie and did our homework first, and now we have more homework to do next, so that's okay. Love it. <laughs> Don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You'll smell better just watching this. 